everyone and welcome to the Halstead Teaching Studio. I'm here today with Erica Stice, our studio coordinator. Hi everyone. Hi, we're really excited to give you a little behind the scenes tour of the Halstead Teaching Studio today. And this is the first in our series of studio tours around the country this year. So we're going to be contacting other jewelry artists remotely and getting a little sneak peek behind the scenes. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So today we're excited to show you um, just a broad overview of our teaching studio here at Halstead and some of our favorite features, right? Yep. Yep. So here we go. We are here at our um, kind of workbench station. And how many of these do we have around the studio, Erica? We have two workbench be stations and one jewelry bench. So we can we can sit five people. Uh-huh. That's right. For our classes. That's right. So we try to do our workshops for employees in groups of five or six. So we have a nice small group in the studio so everyone yep. gets a lot of attention and time and space to work on their projects. Yep. So this is one of our setups right here and everybody has their own individual flex shafts and they do share a few tools together though and that's fine because they never all use them at the same time and we have tools and just everything. We have our hammers, our bench pins, they're set up. That's right. They've got everything they need and, and some of the things I want to point out if you're setting up a studio at home. Um, we don't have like a bench necessarily. Um, my dad actually built these years ago when we started the studio and these are just plank board doors. Um, so they're solid wood doors that we cut to size and mounted on the wall directly with brackets. So you do get a little bit of shimmy but they're stabilized underneath with brackets all the way across um, and they're set at bench height so you still have that nice height for sawing um, so ergonomically it's okay for your yeah. shoulders and your back. Um, it's really hard to do this at a standard table height, so you want to mount your benches a little bit taller. Yeah, and you adjusted it also um, with adjustable stools. You mm -hmm. ordered adjustable stools so we can go up and down, whatever's comfortable. So That's right, and this is a great way to save a lot of money, especially if you need quite a few workstations in a studio. It's really expensive to start with a lot of benches, yeah. and this can um, accommodate you know a couple of people without spending a lot of money. So one of the other things I wanted to point out is our, our hanging system for flex shafts. So these are just little hard store, um, like plant hanger brackets or shelf brackets. Um, you don't necessarily have to mount a, a flex shaft straight to your bench. Um, these little um, hangers are just like a few dollars and you can um, screw them straight into the studs of your wall. Absolutely. And you've got a nice sturdy place to mount your flex shaft and it's still really accessible to your workstation. Yep. So what else, Erica? Tell them about our pegboard system that we love. Oh yeah, our pegboard system, we have them at all the stations and they have all the supplies that people need. So we have our aprons, safety glasses, of course, saw frames and everything they need. There you go. And those, again, are really inexpensive to just kind of mount on the wall, insert your brackets, and then you have a lot of hanging space. And importantly, we have the hammers too, That's which right. can take up a lot of space on top. So. Right. So you don't need like an expensive wooden stand um, or anything really specific. You can do that with things just at your hardware store. So this was actually a conscious decision not to do benches in our teaching space because we don't want things to disappear into drawers. So this depends on, you know, if you're working in a shared space, if you yeah. have a lot of students coming and going, um, but it's really nice that everything is out and visible. So you aren't always hunting for things and trying to find yes. what you're missing, right? Yes. So we accomplish that with just, um, you know, things like plier racks, using lots of jars and containers around the studio. So everything is clearly in sight. All right. So what do you think? Anything else at our, yeah. our standard workstation you want to point out? No. Well, while we're sitting here, I'd kind of like to know why you guys decided on opening the Halstead Studio. Okay. That's right. We were going to talk about it. It's been that. about four years. And <laughs> it has. It has. So, um, yeah, maybe even longer, but I... Um, we felt like this was a really important step for Halstead and all of our employees. This studio is not open to the public, it's only open to staff. And Erica does an amazing job of providing a curriculum on metal smithing for all of the employees here at Halstead. So everyone who gets hired here and works at Halstead um, goes through a mandatory course of basic metal smithing. And then after that, classes become optional, right? Right. And how does that go? I mean, our optional classes are always full and full. waitlisted. And <laughs> full and they love it. They love it. Yes. We haven't had a single employee that haven't, hasn't attempted the torch and then just thrived with it. So and thrived with it. That's yeah. right. So we just feel it's really important that everyone here gets hands-on hands -on experience with their products and tools um, so they can better assist customers and do quality control and know exactly what you're experiencing in your jewelry studio. All right, well, let's go check out some okay. other features. Sounds good. OK, 
Okay, now we've moved across the studio and we're over at our soldering stations. So Erica, take us through the setup here. All right, this is my favorite section, obviously. <laughs> okay, this is our soldering station and it's set up for two people at a time. Mm -hmm. And we use aerosatiline here. Mm -hmm. Um, and they, each one has a has their own station set up. They do share a um, pickle pot, but they have their own separate quench bowls. And across here is where we put everything. So everybody has their own set of solder, which is really important so that there's nobody crossing, you know, across each other with torches and stuff, especially being students. So we've kept everybody kind of nicely separated. And I love how you have your solder organized. This is pallium solder, right? Yeah. Little chips. It's both. We have the wire and the pallium chips in there, and we have easy soft medium and hard ready to go marked all nice and clear yes. in their own little containers yes i love that i know and let's talk a little bit about our ventilation system and i know that's yeah. out of the frame so you can't see it but there's this big hood above us and it ventilates the whole studio space right not just yes. these two stations it's very important and we have a really good setup here for ventilation so that's right so we switch it on it gets a little bit noisy but that actually creates circulation and ventilation for the whole room so it moves air through the entire space Keeps all of those fumes out of our lungs. Yep. So we're nice, safe, healthy jewelers, right? Yep. And especially clears out the liver sulfur, sulfur smell really well. That's right. People in the offices <laughs> nearby don't like it if we forget to turn I on always, I always sometimes get complaints <laughs> about that. But <laughs> What's going on in the studio yeah. today? Got the sulfur out, don't you, Erica? Yep. That's Sorry. right. So if you'll notice, this is mounted on the same kind of workbench we were talking about earlier. So if we're doing a beading workshop or something different, we can always clear this space to have room for more people in the studio. Yeah. Um, but sometimes we also need a little bit more space for soldering too. So how do we handle soldering overflow? Well, what we do is we, uh, if we have a, a lot of people soldering and they're pretty basic solders, um, we will go ahead and set up stations at the benches, which we already showed you, and we'll just pull out our torches, our little uh, Max torches, and we'll go ahead and use that. That's right. So that gives so, us more options in the studio space. Yeah. So technically eight people can solder at a time. Fantastic. Which is really nice. All right, let's go check out Forging in the Kiln. All right, so our studio tour continues and we've kind of moved around the corner into the alcove in our studio space. It has a little bit of an L shape. So this corner is crammed with great equipment, right Erica? Yes, but it's a great corner. It's a great corner. All right, take us through it. What do we got over here on the right? Okay, so over here we have our bench polisher. And it's actually sitting on a cabinet, which is awesome because it has a lot of supplies in it. So if you're limited on space, this is a great setup. So the bench polisher sits by itself and underneath it, we have a lot of storage room. That's right. So we've got it's all your nice buffing wheels, cabinet. all your compounds, yes. all of that is right there. And you can just walk up and get straight to work. Yes. Now, it's really important to think about safety near your polisher, right? Yes. Right. So we Definitely. have all of our safety equipment directly across over here on pegboards. So we've got goggles, we have finger protection, we have aprons. Um, things can really fly with those Hair polishers. ties. Hair ties. It's a big one. Yes, it is. All right, so, what, what's next? What's so over, here, over here we have our kiln. And it has a nice hood on it. And we just purchased this. So this is fairly new to our studio. It is. We've got a Paragon kiln and we added ventilation. So I love that it wears like a little hat. Yeah. <laughs> and you can actually funny. lift it up and down too, but I don't think we'll need to. Yep, that's right. It's perfect level. Yeah, the ducting into the wall hooks into our hood system. So this works with the ventilation system we already had in place. Um, and you have to be really aware of safety and temperature around your kiln, right? So take a little bit of a look at this table. Yes, yeah, so what, what it is is we have a steel tabletop right here that the kiln sits on. So all of this is very safe. And we also have a huge chunk, about two, two inches of sandstone under it too, as well. That's right. And it's really removed from the wall. You never want to put a kiln like up against a wall because they do transfer a fair amount of heat. Yeah, we have a one isolated. foot clearance. That's right. Yes. Okay, so continuing to move around the room. Got lots of forming tools here behind us. Yep, right here is our forming tool station. So we have a lot right here. Easy access. Yes. All right. And then over to my left, we have another metal workbench. Yes, and this is, has kind of just miscellaneous stuff, tumblers, um, cleaners. We have our drill press. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is a great station for just a lot of the miscellaneous schools that we want to use. We do all of our liver sulfur over here when we patina and we just pull them forwards and work them right there at our two stations. That's right. And I really like having a metal work surface yes. in the studio for some of the messier things um, that we may do. Um, sometimes you just really want that kind yeah. of a surface that's not wood, that's not going to scorch or stain. Yeah. And it's very easy to clean it. So mm -hmm. this is a really important table to us. 
That's right. And next to that, we have a mobile rolling mill setup, yeah. right? Not mobile. We yeah. have that thing locked oh, down. Mobile. But you can move the whole but, cabinet out, right? Yes, we could if we wanted to and we needed to move it. We absolutely could. Um, but this is a great little setup for our rolling mill. It gives us plenty of clearance. Plus, we can work off this table when we work with it. So that works out really well where it is. It does. And you're right. And that rolling we, mill is definitely bolted to the tabletop so that it's nice yeah. and secure. Yeah, we have it bolted to the white and then to the gray. So we have it nice and strong on there. Nice and so strong. Move, yeah. All right, and now Erica's favorite thing. Our right forming here. station. Because we have stumps now. Yes, we have stumps. stumps. Are fun. Everybody loves stumps in the Yeah, studio. in <laughs> this little section right here, we can fit three people at a time, which is really important when we have a class. And we have all of the hammers and all of the stakes all right here where everybody can reach them. And plus, we have some forming tools back here as well. That's right. And setting up stumps is something you can totally do with just a couple of friends on a weekend, right? Yeah, it's kind of hard here in the desert to find stumps, so <laughs> that we got stumps I'm so happy about. It took a while, but um, we actually have them L bracketed down and we also have um, padding around it too. That's right, everything is mounted to a skid, so we can, um, you know, it's not really easy, but we can relocate this whole little grouping of stumps and anvils to any place in the studio if we need to. Yes, right? yeah, we can totally move this. That's right, and then, you know, we've got um, belts anchored to our stumps, so you can just have your hammers we right asked, there. We asked everybody to um, kind of donate their leather belts we weren't using, and so we were able to make all the straps for everything and have everything hung up nice. And it looks amazing. Everybody loves hanging out at the stumps. Yeah, it's kind of fun, right? Very fun. <laughs> All right. Well, that kind of wraps up our studio overview. Is there anything else you wanted to point out in the space, Erica? Um, no, I think that's about it. This should cover everything. Um, so, yeah, and I think at the end of this, we'll probably show like a little walkthrough so you can see the entire thing. That's right. A little bit more of a wide angle view. Yeah. So thanks for joining us in the Halstead Teaching Studio. We hope you've enjoyed this little behind the scenes look. Stay tuned for other studio tours throughout the year, and we'll see you here on video.